What's going on, y'all? We are doing something a little bit different today. We are offshore right here. So that's land way off in the distance. We're probably, I don't know, about two miles or so offshore right now. Got my buddy Garrett Way with Garrett Way fishing on YouTube uh, back there. And today we are trying to take advantage of the last weekend of our fall snapper season. So we are headed out to an offshore reef right now, probably about 65 foot of water or so. And uh, we're going to drop down, hopefully get our limit of snapper as well as trigger. Triggers open. Um, I'll have to check on grouper, but there is a chance of those as well. But yeah, I'm going to stop yapping. Let's get out here, see if we can find them. All right, so we're just headed out to the spot right now. As y'all can see on my stream, we got a bunch of little marks and stuff around here. All of this is private numbers. Uh, meaning that they're not public, they're not available to the public uh, through internet searches and stuff like that. It's just random structure that we found along the way, trolling and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, we're already in 61 foot of water, water temperature 70 degrees. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna head out, find us a reef and uh, drop a bait down on it. All right, y'all, we just pulled up to our spot right here, not picking up the structure yet, but y'all can see those giant marks, a lot of bait down there. So I'm gonna drop right here. That looks like trigger fish. Looks like trigger fish. So, all right, we're getting ready to throw out. I have a really simple free line setup running 40 pound main line to 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. Got a three aught circle hook and I just got a whole uh, cigar minnow. Kind of rigged up through the eyes. I'm gonna chunk that dude out, let it sink down to the bottom and just hold on. Oh, there he is. Got him. That's our first fish right there. Doesn't feel like anything too, too big. Mmm. Got to had one good dig. Not running any drag off of me. Let's see what we got. Old snap dilly wampus. All right. Well, that right there is our first fish of the morning. Little old red snapper. All right, well, that would be a legal snapper right there. Just barely legal, probably right around 16, 17 inches. We'll go ahead and send that guy back down. Try to find his mama, because we would like a little bit bigger than that one. Let's rig up another one of these cigar minnows. Just going to poke that hook right through his eye sockets. And that's pretty much the deal. Really, really simple rig. Anybody can do this the only thing with a free line and read like this you can't use it on days of high current and things like that but we got a lot of wind coming at us but we don't have a whole lot of current my line is able to stay in front of me which is what we like so pretty good conditions for free line and the water clarity is beautiful down there so you know when you start to get that really really blue water that clean water um free line and it's just a little bit less detectable uh by some of your your smarter fish like the mangrove snapper grouper things like that there he goes got him again got oh yeah that's a better one that's a better one i don't think it's that much better that initial snatch was good though yeah come on what do we got old red snapper that one's gonna go in the box i think should we keep it or should we keep trying for bigger? Oh, decisions, decisions. Normally, I would just throw that one back, but it's cold, <laughs> it's wet. I ain't got no net. I think we are gonna chunk him back, probably about 18 inch or so. We can get us a couple over 20, that'd be pretty good. Bye bye. We just got to the spot, we're hooked up. Screen is loaded, so I'm not worried about us, you know, not being able to fill our limit. If we don't find any bigger ones a little bit later on, we could get out of here with some smaller ones. All right, let's chunk that bait back out there. I'm gonna show y'all something. So right here where we're picking up all these marks, we're probably, I don't know, 20, 30 yards or so off of the spot. The structure is, is just that way, but you know, sometimes when you get days like today, I'm on. I'm on. There we go. You don't always got to be 
right on top of the structure. And it's a good thing that we're not, because if we do hook a big one, I'm not necessarily totally worried that he's gonna get me just wrecked off in it. Another legal snapper. Getting bigger. Getting bigger. All right, see you, dude. Thanks for getting me wet, buddy. All right, y'all, look at that massive pile of bait. That's why these fish are right there, man. There's so much bait directly under us. I bet if that sun would get a little bit higher, I could probably just look over and see the fish down there. Oh, ooh. he let go of it. There he is, there he is. He ran so fast with it. I don't think it's a big one. Mm -hmm. Might be bigger than the last. Come on up. We do got a dolphin that joined us, so we got to get these fish up quickly. All right, smaller. No shortage of fish down there. I'm going to try to get you sent down where that old dolphin don't get you, buddy. Are right, you ready? Are you ready? Yo! Mm, dang, you cut me. Going back down. Just gonna flip it on out there. Let it sink back down. Right around that 30 to 40 foot range is when it's getting smoked. There he is. Come on. You came up and whacked it and then you let it go. Got him. Mm, he didn't let it go. He was just sitting there hanging out. That one's got a little bit more fight in it. Not pulling any drag. You gotta get up, buddy. We gotta get you away from them dolphins. Yeah, a lot of keepers, just not big keepers. That's all right. While we're waiting on a fish to bite our line over here, I got a quick question for y'all, okay? So, in, in some of my videos, I have put in there that I'm uh four or five miles offshore stuff like that right and then i've had people point out that they could see buildings and the beach and stuff like that in the background so i got a question for y'all and i want y'all to comment what are your thoughts on this so if i'm a mile and a half two miles off the beach but i'm seven miles from where i launched am i seven miles offshore or am I a mile and a half, two miles offshore? Is it always as a crow flies back to the beach? Or is it your total distance to where you're fishing? I don't know. Uh, might, might be a little bit of, of a good, interesting comment section. Let me know, is it total distance or is it the distance from the beach? There he goes. Got him. That's a better fish. That one might make the box. Mm. That one's going to make the box. Come up. There we go. Not running any drag on me. But I still think it's going to be one for the box. Yeah. That one's going in the box. There we go. That is our first 20 inch snapper. Come on up here. Boat lip. All right, y'all. Well, that is not a giant by no means, but it is a really good eating size snapper. I am going to be doing a catch and cook for y'all. So this one will be going in the box. And uh, yeah, kind of pumped up to throw that guy on the grill this evening. All right. Look in the filler bag. One more red snapper to go. And I will say, this right here, having that spot lock on these reefs, like you can't put a price tag on that. I'm out here just chilling, staying put, especially if you like to jig or whatever, you know, it just doesn't get any better than this. Oh, there he goes. Boom. Little guy. Ah! He ain't feeling so tiny now. Dang. He got a little bit of spunk in him. He's holding that rod down for sure. Come on up here. Mm. 
Come on, be a good one. Be a good one. Oh, what did we hook him weird or something? Oh. I mean, that is an okay snapper, but man, it was feeling a, a lot heavier. Come on over here. See you, dude. Go, go faster. All right, guys, so against my better judgment, we are gonna leave this juicy reef right here alone. We're gonna leave it alone, and we are gonna head a little bit further north to that reef right there. We're gonna head over to that reef, and uh, typically, there are a lot bigger snapper on that reef. So we're gonna go to a new reef, see if we can get some bigger fish. All right, so we just pulled up to our next set of structure right there. Actually starting to pick up some pretty good marks off the bottom. So yeah, we're gonna rig up, drop another line down, see if we can get a bigger fish on this reef. I'm going out. Well, while we're waiting to get bit again, y'all, uh, if y'all like this type of content right here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we have a ton of awesome offshore content coming to y'all uh here in the coming days we got a lot of stuff happening around here the tuna bite is going off a lot of fun stuff so if y'all like this content make sure y'all hit the subscribe button i am trying to get to 50 000 subscribers this year and i need all of y'all's help to do that so yeah hit that subscribe button let's get back out here still looking for that giant we're gonna find him come back for it there he is got him Come on up, little guy, little old fella. Smallest one of the day. <laughs> now that, I might have jinxed this because I said we didn't catch any that were undersized. Well, this one, this one is definitely undersized. See you going back down. We are still looking for that bigger one, y'all. I know they're down there. Got to be. There he goes. Got him. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, okay. Still not pulling any drag on me. He's holding some little bit of weight, though. It might be our second one for the box here. Come on, show me something good. Oh, decisions, decisions. <laughs> should this one go in the box? Or should we throw it back? All right, so I have made the decision to make this my second keeper snapper. Just because the bite has slowed a little bit. We have no current movement. As y'all can see, the sun's come out a little bit. Seas are starting to lay down on us. And with that, the bite kind of died off. I mean, I'm still seeing a ton of fish down there. So just to be on the safe side, that is, we're gonna wipe some of that junk off of them. That is a keeper snapper. Let's just make sure. I think it's somewhere around 18. Just to be on the safe side. Let's see what we're looking at. Nineteen and a quarter. All right, buddy, you going in the box. Well, that there is our snapper limit. We're gonna keep on dropping though, just to see if we would pick up anything a little bit better. All right, y'all, well, we are back at the house now. Not a bad morning out there. We caught a ton of fish. I'm, I feel like I probably caught 20 or 30 snapper this morning. And even these little guys right here, I won't say they're not, these are great eating size snapper. This one right here is 19 and a half. This one's 18 and a half um i would have liked to have gotten some around that 22 23 inch that's the size that i really like to keep uh but anyways nevertheless great day out there i hope y'all did enjoy that portion of the video i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how i clean these red snapper and then we're gonna take them out back and uh yeah we're gonna whip them up for y'all and show y'all how i like to cook these fish so pretty simple right here i am gonna start off using my sword nine inch medium flex fillet knife cannot say enough good things about these knives right here uh but what we're gonna do we're just gonna come in behind his gills right there right and i want to come in at an angle to try to get under those scales so 
do that real quick just like that and then from there we're just gonna turn that knife down running along the backbone once we get towards the back I'm gonna lift up over that backbone go all the way through just like that and then we're gonna come directly out the back just like that and then from there we just get back under there get all the way up to the rib cage just like that and then from there we're just going to rotate that knife I say rotate just kind of work over the rib cage just like that and that is our first red snapper fillet pretty much got all the meat off the backbone and all that is right there his rib cage there's nothing in there so satisfied with that fillet then the last thing we're going to do we're going to take the meat off the skin so we're just going to hold down right here come in underneath it just like that and that's it y'all not really any meat left there got most of the meat off of that and we are left with one of four beautiful fillets i'm about to show y'all the cleanest and easiest way to cook any fish especially red snapper these are the red snapper that we caught earlier today super super fresh here only going to use a couple of ingredients avocado oil a little bit of Cajun seasoning, a little bit of Irby seasoning. This is Spainless Asadero Surf and Turf, amazing stuff. Uh, the other seasoning we're gonna be using is just Louisiana Cajun seasoning. And I got some lemons. Along with that, I got my coals going over on the Weber grill over there. It's gonna come together really simple, really easy. So as you see here, I just got my snapper uh, laid in a little tin dish. Uh, just kind of keeps all the juices together and I don't have to worry about necessarily flipping anything and my fish breaking apart, stuff like that. So we're going to start off, hit it with just a little bit of avocado oil on both sides. I'm going to use my tongs real quick just to kind of spread that all over, make sure we get a nice even coat of oil. Now this is going to be my bottom side of the fish. And then from there, we're just going to start with our little heat, Louisiana Cajun seasoning. Hit it pretty good. Now these are red snapper, they're thicker fillet. So I can go a little bit heavier with my seasoning, be just fine. And then hit it with my Spanglish Asadero Surf and Turf. Golly, oh, wrong side, man. It helps if you use the right side, but that, that's all right that ain't gonna hurt nobody that came out fast all right anyways so we're gonna go ahead and flip our fish right there just like that and we're just gonna repeat the steps avocado oil Spread it down on there, nice and even coats. A little bit of Cajun seasoning. A little bit of Irby seasoning. And then from there, always gotta to top it off with a little bit of lemon slice right there. I feel like every fish dish has to have an element of citrus. So whether it be orange, lime, lemon, fish just needs it. Especially if you're using Cajun seasoning, that uh, citrus helps kind of cut it a little bit. And I don't know, it's just needed, right? Definitely adds to the dish. But that's it. That's all of our prep work right there. Everything is ready to go. Go ahead and transport this over to my grill that's on fire what are you doing all right whatever it's all good to go there right 
So I just got a little bit of two stage set up. So all my coals are pushed off to one side. I'm going to set this off on the opposite side of the coals. I'm going to drop my lid on there and I'm going to let that roll for about 15 to 20 minutes. All right. So we have been rolling about 18 minutes or so. Man, that smells amazing, y'all. Just going to do a little fork test. Yeah, it could probably go, it's getting real nice and flaky. Probably let it go for about three more <laughs> minutes and she'll be ready. All right, she is finally ready to come off. Y'all look at that sizzle right there. Oh, man. Whew. All right, so. All we got left to do, as y'all see, we got us a plate of rice, a little bit of mixed vegetables, keeping it clean here today. I am gonna take one of these red snappers, the other is my wife's. So we're just gonna take them lemon slices off of there real quick. And we're gonna get brave and see if I can put this on a plate with the tongs. All right, let's try the spatula. I think that'll work a little bit better than the tongs. <laughs> there we go. Look at that, y'all. That is only one of four fillets right there. You know, and, and we could have sat out there a little bit longer, tried to get some bigger ones. But really, I mean, look at the size of that fillet. That is a perfect proportion. The thickness is just right. There's a point there in which you kind of get too thick where, you know, the really, you can't do much with it. So... In my opinion, those 18, 19, 20 inches, that is the perfect size red snapper right there. All right, y'all. Well, it has all come down to this. Y'all check it out. Y'all have already seen it, but I got to show it to you one more time. There it is. That is our red snapper filet. We got a little bit of avocado seasoned rice right there. And then we got us some mixed vegetables. Go ahead. Go in for a bite for y'all. Take a piece out of that thickest part of that filet right there i mean just look at how that flakes apart and the flies are trying to take it too so we're just going to take that right there that is absolutely killer just a clean simple way to cook fish i mean it doesn't get any easier than that right there well, y'all, I'm about to go in, starve this thing down. I am starving. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all did, leave a like, comment with any questions, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all next time.